More and more architects and urban practitioners want to be part of the solution to problems like climate change, poverty, and conflict. They want to build back better. They want to empower affected communities. They want to put their design skills to work towards things like social and spatial justice. That's why they come to our program. I'm Carmen Mendoza Arroyo, and I'm the co-director of the Master of International Cooperation Sustainable Emergency Architecture. If you want to work as an architect or urban planner in the fields of emergency response or development, you need the special training. This program is unique because it bridges the gap between these traditionally separate fields and also because it covers a broad scale of intervention. So from the smaller architectural scale of say shelter design all the way to the large urban scale of informal settlement upgrading. What got me interested about this course was basically just uh, the whole approach of architecture and how it comes with social responsibility. Um, and the whole humanitarian approach of this, um, realizing the realities of uh, the issues that are happening around the world, um, especially where I come from. Um, so that kind of made me wonder of how an architect could play a role and how my education throughout could be used for the beneficial of my own country. After working in the field as an architect, I realized that it's not just simply about building buildings, it's about building relationships, it's about building s strong communities, resilient communities, and this is the reason why I'm here. We've built a program that brings in some of the best practitioners in the world and one that combines academic rigor and practical knowledge so students can have a wide range of job opportunities and ultimately make a positive impact on the communities they serve. I think one of my favorite parts about the master's program was just getting to learn from some of the best practitioners in the field. And they were able to teach us using real life examples they've come across during their career. And that practical training really, I think, equipped me very well to be working where I'm working now here in Battambang, Cambodia. They shared inclusive and collaborative strategies with us, which is something very important in this field. And that currently I use daily in my work at Building Community Workshop. So when you see so many of your students go on to do great work in fields that they're passionate about, it not only makes us feel like we're doing something right, it makes us feel optimistic about the future.